here's how the rest of this evening is shaping up. As I mentioned, there's a lot going on here. Before you leave to your Super Bowl party, you're definitely going to want to have the big winter coat because temperatures will fall down into the mid 30s by 10 o'clock with wind chill values in the 20s. And there's a good chance of scattered showers with the occasional snowflake mixed in. I don't think the snow will have an impact until tomorrow morning. We'll have brief but intense snow showers. Don't think we're going to see much in the way of accumulation. But with the wind and the falling snow, that could greatly reduce visibility within these heavier bands of snow, if you will, these elongated streaks of snow. I'll show you that in a moment. Here's Monday. We don't make it above 32 degrees. 40 to 45 mile per hour wind gusts with those snow squalls expected throughout the morning. They'll be hit and miss, not everywhere. But somewhere, I think in western portions of Missouri and eastern Kansas, highs for tomorrow, 20s and low 30s, and feeling colder than that. Here's the very hit and miss nature of these showers and snow showers. This is 7 o'clock this evening through tonight. I'm going to stop it tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock. You see how there's these streaks of blue? Those are going to be your snow squalls or these heavier snow showers. Within them, the visibility could rapidly drop. I'm talking near zero, okay, very quickly within the band. You get outside the band, you're okay. Most of these snow showers will end by the afternoon and the evening tomorrow at 5 o'clock, but they're still trying to hang on. It's the morning that I'm most concerned about, so I want you prepared for these heavier snow showers tomorrow morning. They'll be hit and miss. I got to tell you, if one moves over Kansas City during the morning drive with these type of winds, I mean, the snowfall could be blinding at times. So here's what I want you to do tomorrow morning. If you are driving and it starts to snow, start to slow down because visibility could quickly drop to zero. I don't want you to go from 60 to zero. That's how pileups happen. So we're going to watch this very closely tomorrow morning with Aaron and Neville and Jennifer. Tomorrow morning is definitely a morning you're going to want to check in with First News to see where these snow squalls set up. And again, nothing heavy, nothing big, nothing. Think, less than an inch in just a few areas. This but out is of nowhere. mainly wind and visibility. <laughs>